So this is part four of creating um, a walk with a classroom of 25, 30 pupils. And uh, we've made some great progress. Um, but what we haven't done are, are kind of finish this story, um, um, the Riddler's story. And uh, there's a little quirk with the Riddler's story. Um, but there is something else that is fundamental to all walks. And that is directions. Every walk, you need to know where to go. The very first part of this story, if we click on Home and we click on Edit Title, here we write right at the beginning, this, these words are live from the beginning of the story. And it says, Hello, um, well, come to our school. Uh, please now go to the outdoor learning classroom. So those words turn up right at the beginning of the walk. So if you put that in your smartphone, click on this, it comes straight up here, allow here, and this, these are live no matter where you are in the world. Um, and there is a limit to the amount of text you can put there. But, um, and then when we, when, we, when we walk to the outdoor learning center, outdoor learning classroom, this bar itself will open automatically. We don't have to use the cheat button, which we do on the desktop. This is sort of like the uh, the, um, the armchair version. Um, but uh, you know, we, we walk. But we don't really know beyond that. We don't know where to go. So here we are in the Oak Walk. Edit title. Edit map. We go to Edit map. Here's the map with all our zones. What we need to do is actually know where to go. And we know that one and two are in the outdoor learning classroom so what we do is we give the first directions to Billy so the Billy um, is let's get rid of that Billy is here and I know that Billy is actually at the climbing wall so I'm going to write go now go to the climbing wall and because we did the work with the pupils earlier Every kid in the class knows exactly where all these places are. So it's really simple. Um, for anybody traveling to the, to the school, it would be a bit more confusing. Um, but you can see that we did this work with the class, with their maps, pointing at the different locations. They're all pretty clued up and exactly where they're going to go. So that um, really, really drill into that at this point. It works really well. So now you give the iPad to Billy. And Billy wants to write instructions from himself to Amelie, number two to number three, number two to number three. So Amelie is at the lower stage here. So please go to the stage and all the children will know where that is. And Amelie takes the iPad, um, uh, takes the job. And she'll, we have to click save after each of these, it's best if we do. Um, so the next person is the outdoor learning. Uh, no, it's the year six. Play equipment. I think it's the year six play equipment. And then hand it to save. And Emily hands it to Sam, and Sam gives directions to Tilly. And Tilly's at the bike. Um, go to the bike store. So that's where they store the bicycles. So then Tilly takes it, and she her directions are back to the beginning. And any of the kids are really good at this. They can probably do the first one as well. Sometimes children do all the directions, and they're really they're really fast learners. They're the ones who are gifted and talented. And actually, this is probably a task where other ones are kind of doing other parts of the system. One kid can do this. Um, it's great if you get somebody who knows what they're up to, and they just it's really really in every group. You'll have put this is why you put mixed abilities in group in each group. There'll be one kid at least who should be able to to be able to um, rise to this task and put them all in. So at the moment, I'm asking Tilly to write directions to the final part of the walk, and the, that's going back to the central class, central class, the um, outdoor learning classroom, outdoor classroom. Um, it's your next stop. How you write that is not really too matter, but then you click save. So we've added those details in there, which is great. Now, if we come back to the home and we come back down to the actual walk, if we click on the walk now, uh, we have to go allow again. 
Um, so again, the details are turned up for the first bit. It's all telling us where to go from the first instructions. We walk around the corner to the climbing wall. This naturally opens because we're in the right place. I'm going to cheat here. Um, and there's some, this is the introduction to the chapter. There's no details in there yet. There's no pictures in there yet. We'd like those. We haven't put those in yet. But look down here are the directions. They're slightly grayed out, slightly different font. Now go to the climbing wall. So you know exactly where to go. You can walk around to the climbing wall. When you get to the climbing wall, this bit will open. And I cheat with this button. And then Billy's words will turn up. Please go to the stage. If I go to the stage now, the next piece opens up and Amelie's uh, riddle turns up. What is hungry round the house and eats Lego? Well, we haven't got an answer in here yet. Even if we go right the way through, we haven't got an answer right the way through. There's nothing more written in here yet. It's all okay. So we're going to go back to the beginning. Oakfield, Edma, edit chapters. So, as I said, there was two things we needed to do on this walk. One was add directions, which are universal. You have to have directions. There are, the, the directions are always done in word form. But in this story, this is a Riddler story, and because each pupil writes a riddle, you kind of at the end of the story you need to have the solution to the riddle. So I'm going to write Billy's answer as a, as a title. And then you're going to write here um, the river, which is the answer to his riddle. Though we didn't actually write the, ri the river. Let's change, let's change Billy's. Um, what has banks but you cannot but, but but no money. Something simple like that. What has banks but no money? Well, it's a river, isn't it? See, what I say about it, working backwards on riddles is really easy. Amelie's was the next one, so let's put her down here. Um, Amelie's answer is... Did you get it? Ooh. Oh, I'm never sure. Vacuum cleaner. Save. And um, end. Final chapter. This is the last words. Which wraps up the tail. And usually at this point I also ask, uh, what would you make, how would you make the story better? Do you have any suggestions? What could you change? But it depends on the story. Um, it depends what you write in there. So that's a simple format. The Riddler Tales now created. We haven't put any pictures in there, but I've shown you how to do that in a different video. Um, but we've got a formula of pretty, pretty messy story, but actually when all the children put their work in in a singular order there and we get the directions right, the images are in, meets it out really nicely, and we have a whole story walk. And we go to template story walk here, and we're going to walk around the corner, um, and we go to the outdoor learning classroom, and we open the introduction classroom, and then we go to the climbing wall. We go to the climbing wall, and the next bit opens. Billy's riddle is there. What has banks but no money? Oh, I don't know. Go to the stage, and there's another question here, and Amelie's question: What is hungry around the house and eats Lego? Oh, I don't know. And we go on, we haven't put the next two in, but the final part here is where their answers are revealed. So Billy's answer is the river, and Amelie's answer, vacuum cleaner. And it's the end. This is the last part which wraps up the tale. So we can write text in there, and then right at the end, it also says this is the end of the story.